What's going on guys? It's STG. On today's episode I have a very special international mail call. So this next individual, I have been watching her channel for a while now and I basically first discovered her channel through PMG, Poor Man's Gold. I basically clicked on her channel, I saw a comment she left for PMG, and I was quite intrigued by her channel. She is none other than Simbunji, Simbunji Coin Adventures, guys. Check it out. I got this package all the way from Australia. So let me tell you a little bit about Simbunji first, and then we will open the package. So basically, she's in Australia, specifically Tasmania. For those of you who don't know the geography of Australia, basically you have the uh, uh, main island of Australia, and then a little bit to the southeast, you have a little island called Tasmania. Some of you guys in the U.S. might be familiar with the Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> it is a cartoon here. Uh, for those of you in Australia who, who don't know about that. Um, but basically, Tasmania is a real place, and there really is an animal called the Tasmanian Devil, uh, native to Tasmania. Um, and uh, so I basically watched Sim Bungie's channel, and I became very impressed with her knowledge. Uh, she does what they call noodling in Australia. In the U.S. we would call it coin roll hunting. And I was really impressed with her knowledge of uh, mostly $1 and $2 coins. In Australia they do not have uh, the $1 or, uh, or $2 bills anymore. They replaced them with coins. I believe in 1984 they replaced the $1 bill and in 1988 they replaced the $2 bill. And uh, just like here guys, they have a $1 coin, they have a 50 cent coin, they have a $2 coin which we do not have. So her knowledge of uh, Australian coins was quite impressive. She knew, she knows basically a lot of the um, hard, uh, low mintage uh, coins, uh, the hard to come by coins that are, you know, somewhat rare. Uh, also, she basically looks for errors. She knows exactly what to look for. Sometimes the coins are um, off-centered on one side compared to the other side. She basically um, checks for pretty much any type of, of error and she has a very sharp eye and she's able to catch a lot of things that um, I, I think the average person would miss who's not you know trained I guess she's been uh, what they call noodling for a while now and uh, knows exactly what to look for in addition to knowing the uh, rare dates so I am highly impressed with her channel I watch it all the time and guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description to her channel. I highly recommend you check out her channel if you're interested in learning about Australian coins. And on that note, I will open up the package, guys. Check it out. She sent me a really nice large package. I know this could not have been cheap. Uh, actually, I, I, I do know it wasn't cheap based on the postage stamp. Uh, I really appreciate that. I know I sent her um, a package as well, and it included some um, uh, goldbacks, which she was kind enough to actually uh, give away one of them for in a gaw. So that was really nice and generous of Simbunji. And guys, I am so excited. I don't know what to expect. This package is substantial. It is quite heavy. And for her to ship that all the way from Australia, I really appreciate it. So guys, let's see what Simbunji has sent me. I'm gonna open it up here very carefully. I do not want to rip anything. Oh. <laughs> okay, we got some snacks here, nice. 
so let me see what we got here. This looks like a little possibly letter with some coins. I don't know. Okay, let's see what we got here. Amaze balls, crunchy natural cheese snacks, barbecue. That's pretty cool. I've never seen these before. Made in Australia from at least 99% Australian ingredients. That's cool that they specify the origin of the ingredients. Vegetarian, that's cool. Eco, oh, keto friendly. I was gonna say eco friendly. <laughs> keto friendly for those of you who can't eat uh, gluten. That's good. And uh, let's see, we have furry friends. Check it out. <laughs> Dairy milk. Kangaroo, kangaroo guys, everyone, everyone knows Australia is world famous for their kangaroos. What does this say? Okay, call. That's if you have complaints. This looks good. Let's see what else she sent me. Amaze balls, crunchy natural cheese snacks. That's awesome. And last but not least of the snacks. We have the Caramello Koala. Mmm, that sounds good. Who doesn't like caramel? Um, I, I, I hate to say this. I, 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 chocolate is okay. It's not one of my favorite things to eat. I will eat it, uh, but it is not, again, not my favorite. Milk chocolate is nice. Uh, so thank you so much for these snacks. These, I'm sure we cannot get here. Uh, I know in the U.S. we have some, um, we basically get Australian licorice. I recently had some, I think it was called Daryl Lee licorice, which was pretty good. Uh, what else do we get here? I think I've seen Vegemite. I think we could get Vegemite here. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about Vegemite, I'm sure, in this uh, mail call. <laughs> So stay tuned for that guys. This is gonna be a little bit So I don't know if there's a letter in here. I'm assuming there's some coins in here Maybe there's a actually I'm trying to peek in here and I'm thinking maybe there's a letter in here I don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go for it guys. I'm just gonna open it up One at a time and see what Sim Bungie has sent me. Ooh Check it out. What is this? We have You are only young once, but you can be immature for a lifetime. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, I've done a little research uh, of Australian culture. <laughs> I wanted to prepare for this a little bit. And um, basically, this is uh, this is very funny. Um, so this is basically, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I don't know if this is what it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. But in Australia, they basically have um, something like this to hang their uh, clo uh, clothes to dry on after doing the laundry to dry them. Uh, it's kind of like in the U.S. we have like back in the day clothes lines. Some people still use them. They're just basically strings where people hang their clothes on. I think this was uh, basically what they used to hang their uh, clothes on. I don't know if she covered this up or not. I'm not sure why this is covered up here. Um, maybe it is uh, supposed to be uh, censored. I'm not going to take... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to take it off, um, but basically I know in Australia there's a game called Goon of Fortune where you basically, um, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's basically a drinking game, guys. You hang uh, bags of some type of alcohol and you basically spin the uh, clothes dryer around and wherever whoever it lands on, they have to basically just take a sip of the uh of the drink, whatever it might be, most likely alcohol. Uh, so it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Um, those of you who are Australian, yes, I do know about Guna Fortune. <laughs> so, 
Um, I hope that's what this is, uh, but thank you so much. And let's see what's inside. I didn't even open it yet. Ooh, check it out, guys. We've got some stamps here. Let's get to this. To STG, you were so taken by Guna Fortune <laughs> that I made you a suitable card. <laughs> Happy birthday. I'm not sure why this card design hasn't been done before. Okay, so it's not my birthday, but um, she, I, I basically told her about Guna Fortune before, and uh, yes, I was highly, um, highly entertained by um, learning about Guna Fortune, <laughs> and, and wanted to try and want to try it out someday if I ever get to Australia. So thank you so much for the um, the thoughtful and. Uh, very interesting card <laughs> and <coughs> excuse me guys here we have a couple of australian stamps these look uh vintage from 1980 australia national stamp week this is pretty cool i'm not sure if that's supposed to be a lighthouse and that looks like what we call in the U.S. a mailman. I don't know what you call it in Australia. I forgot the name of it. Um, but we basically call that, the. I'm guessing, the mailman. And kind of similar. They do kind of wear gray pants like that. And sometimes they do wear a cap. Uh, so that's interesting similarity, even from back in 1980. So thank you so much. Uh, my, my father was actually a uh, stamp collector as well. He, he left me tons of, uh, mostly American. He, there probably is some international stamps in there as well in his collection. I don't really look at them too much, but I appreciate this sentiment. Uh, Sim, thank you so much for the stamps. That was really unexpected and very generous of you to give me those vintage stamps. Now, I will, is there something else in here? Let's see, oh, what is this, guys? Okay, this, I actually know what this is. This is the 50 year anniversary of Australian television. I believe uh, this was the, um, this was the original uh, place where it was uh, it was broadcast, and uh, I guess that's a uh, basically a uh, camera used to shoot, you know, television, and uh, pretty nice commemorative coin. I really like it. Wow, only 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 50 years uh, as of 2006. So. What was that, 1956? Uh, that's, I, I hate to say this, but that's relatively late. I believe um, the first uh, TVs, well, I know they, they were in basically for commercial use in the 19, I, I wanna say 1940s. Um, I believe TV was actually developed in the 1920s though um, so I guess Australia was, uh, slightly, a little slightly behind the times, uh, as far as television, I, I, I'm not, no disrespect, but, uh, that it, it does seem a, a bit late, uh, for TV to come out compared to the U.S., but this is a really cool commemorative coin. September 16th. Crowds gathered outside department stores and in homes across Australia to witness the momentous event of TCN9 flickered into life with the famous words, Welcome to Television. Television sets cost three times the monthly wages in those days and only about 2,000 homes in Australia's biggest city had one on opening night. Wow. That is awesome. Fastest means of getting up to date news. Well, now we have the internet, so I'm not sure if uh, if that has replaced uh, the fastest growing place and means of getting news now. 
but uh, for its day, yes, about 15 years ago, TV still reigns supreme, I believe, and it is a beautiful designed coin. I really appreciate you sending me this Australian commemorative coin, Sim. That was very nice of you. It's from Sydney, and you really did not have to send me this. This was very nice of you to do that, so thank you so much. I don't know the mintage of this. Sometimes the mintage is printed on here. Maybe in these little small letters. I don't know. I don't think it is. I think it's basically related to the um, yeah, 200 watts voltage rating. That might have... Uh, this might be related to the uh, transmission of the, um, the uh, satellite uh, that issued the... Um, the first transmission of TV in Australia. Uh, so that's that's actually pretty cool. I kind of dealt with this. I, I studied electrical engineering and uh, I'm kind of familiar uh, with the, um, the science behind uh, radio uh, transmissions, satellite transmissions. So that was very thoughtful of you, Sim. Thank you again so much for this coin very nice coin and I still have feels like there are a significant amount of coins in this here